a student of mine. Um, I've had a number of students over the years. This one is, uh, I have to tell you, a very special young lady. She has been performing since she was 13 years old. Did you tell me 100 songs you've composed? Uh, about 100 songs. Uh, she is online, she is performing. I know the Pre Presbyterians have no problem with this. You will find her in some of the local restaurants, nightclubs, and this fall she goes to Berkeley, which is in Boston, Massachusetts. I know of Berkeley, California, but I didn't know of this particular place, and it concentrates on what they perceive as the potential young artists in the popular genres. And her favorite areas, that you'll hear in just a moment is jazz and soul. Um, she was also the winner of Ohio's Got Talent two years ago or three now? Two years ago. So that's something local, you, you know about that. The one thing I will take credit for, I cannot take credit for the talent of my students, but sometimes I can introduce them to some interesting things. I don't think Lauren really knew much about spirituals, and she rather fell in love. So she's going to do one for, for you called Weep and Mary. Uh, and she's going to give you the background on that. So Lauren, come. OK, so the story behind this song is from a verse. Um, this is John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him Away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabbani. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Jeez. 
Thank you, Lauren. You have a beautiful voice, quite a gift, and that was a powerful song. We're grateful to have you here with us today. <clears throat> 